You know, there's certain things you, I believe. There's certain things I believe that, uh, and and this is just my opinion. There's certain things I believe you just don't do in church. Now I'm out here. I'm still a disciple, a disciple of 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 Christ. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to find the way. I'm trying to find the way. I'm still learning. I'm still studying. I even got I even had Bible teachers that are teaching me. You know what I'm saying? They they helping me get to the next level or whatnot. But I believe, like I said, there's certain things in the church that. I believe that you should not do. I mean, you shouldn't you shouldn't do certain things in the church, man. Church is supposed to be church is supposed to be fun, right? You're supposed to learn from church. The words that the pastor is 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 preaching is supposed to hit you, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to it's supposed to hit you, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be hit with the Holy Spirit. You you supposed to when you go to church you supposed to feel like man you know what he talking about me he talking about me right now and I'm getting I'm getting hit you know what I'm saying I'm a, he's he's hitting all corners because I'm a sinner you know what I'm saying if I'm gonna go to church that's how I wanna feel you know what I'm saying now I'm not gonna name no churches um, or name no names or in, name any pastors. But you guys, whoever watches this, go look it up for themselves. But if you got a woman on stage twerking and you want to call it a performance at your, ch at your church, come on, man. I get I get the message, right? You trying to you trying to make a performance. You trying to be Shakespeare or something, right? You trying to do a performance on your on your gigantic stage, right? And you trying to get a point across. You you trying to you trying to point out good and evil, I guess, or whatever. But like I said, in your church in your church there's certain things you just shouldn't put there, you know what I'm saying? Like you got women there twerking, they got and they tight up skin tight and they talking about booties big booties and little booties come on man your church is supposed to save people right you're supposed to save people right like if if if, if i have a lust problem right if i'm a guy that has a lust problem and i'm trying to get away from that abstain from that and change my spirit how are you helping me when you got women twerking on the stage? That's going to trigger me. That's going to trigger me. I'm like, oh, wow. I mean, now I could get this at church. I mean, I, I thought I was supposed to stay away from this. Now I could get this at church. I could see women twerking on a performance. I'm going to, I'm going I'm to join this church. Like, come on, like you, you leading me astray. You leading, you literally, come on, man. This this consequences with every action that you do, whether good or bad, positive or negative. There's there's consequences with everything you do. You're you're literally the guy that has a lust problem who who wants to go join a church or or come to church and 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 be free of this lustful spirit. But you you got women twerking on stage. And they skin tight, tights. Talking about big booties, little booties. Like, I don't want to hear that. Like, I, if it was me, I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? That's leading me astray. I don't want to see that either. Like how I give up porn. I don't want to. I don't want to see that. I, I don't want to see that when I go to church. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, there's consequences for every action you do. You gotta consider what you do when you're trying to appeal. Come on, man, that 
you guys go look it up. If you watch this video, guys, goes. I'm not gonna name no pastors' names or, or church names. Just Google it, YouTube it. You know, you know this. This pastor even had a a, a a woman about to be sacrificed on a cross. On the on in the performance, like, come on, man, come come on, man, like, what what are you what are you doing, man? What are you doing? There is consequences with every every act. You may you may feel in your heart that it's the Holy Spirit. You may feel it, but most most cases it's not. Like, come on, like, would God even want to enter that church? Would Jesus approve of that? I don't think so. I don't think so. You got to think about what you do before you do it. You got to think about what you do so you won't have to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, think about the consequences. Earlier today, right? I was, um, I was looking for, like, my family, right? Me and my family, we use plastic spoons and forks and whatnot. Plastic spoons and forks. And I keep them, I keep most of them in the pantry. So I was going in there to get a spoon. I, I, wanted, I wanted to get a plastic spoon in the pantry. And as I was grabbing the box, you know what I'm saying? I was grabbing the box. I was trying to grab the spoon, one spoon out the box. As I was grabbing the one spoon, a fork fell. A fork fell on the floor, right in, you know, right in the, in the doorway, in the, in, you know, in the walkway, in the, in the kitchen. The fork fell in the walkway. So in my mind, I was like, man, I, I'm not going to pick that up. I got, I got stuff to do. I got to, I got to give this dog, this dog, because I was feeding the dog. I got to give this dog her food. I ain't about to pick that up right now. I'll pick it up later or when I come home, I'm going to clean up or whatever. But I had to stop and think like, man, what if my wife comes in? Because she, cause she, she's at work. What if my wife comes in and in that doorway, she doesn't see this fork and slips and, and falls and, and hits her head? And 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 I'll be at Grady in 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 another thirty to hour, in an hour. I'll be at Grady, meeting her at Grady or something, or 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 coming home and seeing her knocked out because of my actions, because of my ignorant accent actions that I didn't want to pick up the the, the fork that was in the doorway. She could have came in, slip and trip. That's on my head. There is consequences with every action you do, with every action that you take. You got to consider, you got to look to the future on that. For real, you got to look to the future. I mean, if future isn't bleak, if the future is bleak, it's not really clear. Because sometimes God make it that way. He don't want to, you know what I mean? But there's certain things you can prevent. Like, these, you, you people out there who watches this, there's, there's a lot of things you people can prevent simple things like like what i just mentioned about the fork clean up after yourself man look to the future look to the future like man you know what how would this guy feel if i do this performance how would this lustful person feel if he watches this performance i got women shaking their booties on on my on my stage Hmm. You gotta consider that. Think to the future. You gotta consider that. Are you are you are you saving lives? Or are you just trying to appeal to the world? See that's a, see that's the thing. The thing about church or the thing about Christ and 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 going going the righteous way. You can't appeal to everybody. You really can't. Not everyone is going to be saved. 
not everyone's going to be saved. So if you're trying to appeal to the world by mixing secular with unsecular just to make people feel comfortable, you can't, the church ain't the church. I don't believe the church should be somewhere that you feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like when you go to church, you supposed to be you supposed to be getting saved. You supposed to be hearing the pastor talk. Again, 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 gut punch. Because what he's saying is going to hurt because you're a sinner. Right? The only say only saving that you, you're supposed to be talking about is that, look, man, God forgives your sins. You walk in the way of Jesus Christ because he's the way. God will forgive your sin if you stay away from it. You know what I mean? They're like, paradise is here. It's coming. Paradise is on the other side of this. That's, come on, like. If you're trying to save people, tell them the gospel, like teach them the gospel. You don't have to put on a performance. I don't. You, is that even saving people putting on a performance? If, if, if I wanted to see a performance, I'll go to a Jay-Z concert or something. Teach people the gospel. And stop trying to trying to mix you're trying to make it worldly. The thing is, this this world is not the Lord's. The, the, God created it, but it's, it, it belongs to the wicked one. The evil one. The devil. Satan. But you're trying to appeal to them? <clears throat> you can't, man. There's got to be... There's always going to be a separation, really. From, good, from unrighteous to righteous. From unpure to purity. You can't mix secular with, with unsecular. You can't mix secular with righteousness. Come on, man. You can't. You can't be worldly. You can't. I mean, it, it sucks. You want to reach everybody. You want to reach every soul. You want to save every spirit. But you can't. I'm really I'm I'm just saying you really can. All you all you all you could do is plant a seed. Plant a seed in their hearts. And then Jesus will take over. God, Jehovah will take over. Plant the seed. Let it work. Let it work. But come on, man. There's there's a there's a What's the saying called? You doing too much. There's a thing called you doing too much, really. There is a thing called you doing too much. Come on, man. Just preach the gospel. Preach the good news of the Lord today. Preach the Lord that preach preach to the people that the Lord has a way out. That paradise is on the other side of this. That eternal eternal life, everlasting life is is on the other side of this. Right? That's the good news. I mean, come on, man. I, I don't have to see people shaking their booties on stage. I don't have to see that. I don't. Because that's... I don't believe that's good news. That's I believe that's leading me astray. You're leading me back to what I was trying to escape from. Right? Not to mention, if you got people doing that on stage come on man i got i got kids in this church like i got i got kids watching this i bring my kids to the church and 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 this is what you perform which is what you're showing me this is what you're showing them come on man we gotta do better like i said i'm still a disciple of this i'm just expressing my opinion but this is what i believe i'm not saying this is how i feel because feelings also lead you astray, too. I, I try to keep feelings out of it. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to use my feelings, I'm going to use the Holy Spirit with it, too. Because feelings lead you astray. I'm going I'm, to I'm say my opinion and what I believe in. You know what I'm saying? 
So this is Daniel once again, your host of Notice TV, putting you guys on notice. I'll see you guys later.